You have probably heard of the Kardashians before, especially the siblings Kim and Kourtney Kardashian. These two reality television stars and businesswomen are known throughout social media, business, and television world because of their family, businesses, and the brands they endorse. So, who is Travis Barker and what's their deal? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and make sure to stay tuned until the end because you will not believe what happened between these people. Before we continue with the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated for new content and videos. Before we get to what happened between the three of them, let us first talk about them individually, starting with the Kardashian sisters and how they rose to fame. Kim Kardashian is one of the stars in the family's reality show as well as a businesswoman, creating brands like KKW Beauty, KKW Fragrance, and Skims. She was born on October 21, 1980 and is the second of four children born to the late Robert Kardashian and his first wife, Kris Jenner. She shot to stardom when a controversial and scandalous video of her and her ex-boyfriend, rapper Ray J, was posted and leaked online. That was the start of her career and her family's rise to fame because around the time of the video's release, the Kardashians debuted their hit reality TV show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The show follows the lives of Kim, her siblings, and her parents, giving an insight to their personal lives and revealing various secrets pertaining to their family and relationships. Because of the show and the people's interest in her life, Kim's love life has been the subject of intense media interest. She was first wed to music producer Damon Thomas in 2000, but ended in a divorce after four years. Following her divorce, she had a string of high-profile boyfriends. In 2010, she got married to Chris Humphreys, a professional basketball player with a very grand and televised ceremony. However, Kardashian filed for a divorce after only 72 days of marriage, with which Humphreys opted and sought for an annulment instead. But they settled their divorce in 2013. While divorce proceedings between the two were ongoing, Kim got involved with the famous Grammy Award-winning rapper Kanye West in 2012. They were also expecting a baby and had their daughter on June 15, 2013. They both then got married in 2014 and ever since then, they have been building their family together. Although nowadays, they seem to be hitting a rocky path as divorce has been looming around the two. Now, Kourtney Kardashian, one of Kim's siblings and also one of the main characters for today's video. Kourtney is widely known for being on the reality TV show Keeping Up With The Kardashians, along with her siblings and parents, as well as starring in the series The Simple Life with her childhood friend Paris Hilton. She was born on April 18, 1972, and is the eldest of the Kardashian family. Thanks to the show she's been on, audiences and netizens have been interested in her relationships and love life, especially her relationship with her long-term boyfriend, Scott Disick. Courtney and Scott had three children together before they split in 2015. Aside from the reality shows, Courtney is also known for her businesses like clothing stores, children's boutique, and cosmetics line. She also positioned herself as the most environmentally conscious member of her family. After accepting an invitation, she participated in a briefing on regulatory reform of the cosmetics industry, using her fame to draw attention to the said issue. Now, how exactly do these two people relate with Travis Barker? Well, Courtney confirmed her relationship with the Blink-182 drummer in early 2021. So, who exactly is he? Travis Barker was recognized as punk's first superstar drummer by the Rolling Stone magazine, as he is the drumming star of the era. He was born on November 14, 1975, to Randy and Gloria Barker. He started learning the drums at an early age, which allowed him to expose himself to different styles and rhythms. Aside from music, he was interested in surfing and skateboarding as well. He worked as a trash man until he found a temporary place in the punk group and eventually got recruited full-time by the band The Aquabats in 1994. He then recorded his first album with the band in 1997. He found and earned his breakthrough when he was recruited to fill in on the drums for the punk rock group Blink-182. He then replaced the band's former drummer, Scott Rayner. Ever since then, he continued to play in the band and rose to fame. Travis was married twice, the first to Melissa Kennedy and the second to Shanna Mochler, with whom he had two children. However, despite several attempts to rekindle and repair their marriage, they divorced in 2008. As stated earlier, he and Courtney confirmed their relationship early this year, and now there are quite a few scandals regarding his relationship with Courtney and her sister Kim Kardashian. Before we get to the juicy bits, let's talk Courtney and Travis first. It seems the Kardashian sisters have thing for guys named Travis, huh? Scott, anyone? 
Moving on, reportedly the couple had been friends for years, but in 2019, rumors started hovering when the two were spotted having dinner with their kids in Malibu. That's pretty serious when kids are involved, don't you think? But of course, the drummer denied these claims, saying, Courtney's like a dear friend. Sources from E! News backs up these claims, saying that the two have been seeing each other at church because they live in the same neighborhood, but of course, they all end up eating their words. On January 20th, 2021, this all took a rather sharp and romantic turn when Courtney bought Alabama, Travis's daughter, a Prada bag for Christmas, and sources from The Sun disclose that the two are close and have unreal chemistry. Months following that, fans are convinced they've both got a relationship seeing as they're both openly flirting on Instagram. Commenting on each other's posts, being on their stories and in one of Courtney's Instagram stories, she posted a lock screen of her in a bikini with the words, P.S. This lock screen does not belong to me, which people have taken to speculating it was Travis's lock screen, and they do have a point. Things were starting to get serious when exes were involved and reports of Courtney's ex-husband, Scott Disick, being jealous were surfacing. Considering how long their relationship was and how many kids they had, it's totally understandable. Finally, on February 17th, the couple became Instagram official when Courtney posted a picture of both of them holding hands, captioned, When Friends Become Lovers. Travis wasn't behind on the posting because days after he posted an Instagram story of a love note from Courtney, saying, To lots of fun adventures, may we destroy each other completely. Love, Courtney. The couple were off to a good start considering they've been long-time friends. They both have a fondness with adventure and thrill, and to top it off, they both understand what it means to be single parents. This was evident in their Instagram, because the social media flirtations did not go amiss. Wait, have we mentioned they got matching tattoos? So cute. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Now, on to the juicy part. We know the court and Travis bit was cute, but it wasn't always smooth sailing because just last May 2021, rumors of Barker cheating on Courtney was surfacing, and with Kim Kardashian no less. These rumors started when Barker's ex-wife Shauna Mochler claimed that Travis had cheated on her with Kim way back when they were married around 2004 to 2006, which was what ultimately led to their divorce. These are very serious claims, but Mochler was so convinced it happened around the time Kim was still Paris Hilton's assistant, further alluding that it was actually referenced in Barker's 2015 memoir, Can I Say? Living Large, Cheating Death, and Drums, Drums, Drums. Funnily enough, all these were brought to light publicly by the Barker's own daughter when she shared a text written by her very angry mother. Written were her claims that she divorced Travis because I caught him having an affair with Kim. Now he's in love with her sister. It's all gross. I'm not the bad guy. Apparently, Travis did previously admit he found Kim Kardashian attractive and called her eye candy while hanging out with Paris Hilton way back, so we can't completely leave this one out. Of course, Kim denied these claims and sources actually say they're false, so who knows? As for Courtney, whether or not it happened is not a deal breaker for her, saying that it actually happened long before she dated Travis and her love for him hasn't changed a bit. The couple are still obsessed with each other and have only exemplified their excessive PDA. We love to see it though, not gonna lie. But let us know in the comments below what you guys think. Did Travis and Kim really become a thing or is it just another one of those kooky ex things? Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because we have more tea to spill. Bye!